Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. I've just realized I left my FPS counter on, so I'm going to turn that off real quick because I don't need that on while I'm playing The Binding of Isaac because it'll just make me notice frame drops even more. Anyways, we are jumping in for another run and we are going to go as... Da -da 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 -da. Let's just randomize and see who we get. I haven't randomized in a while. We might get a modded character. Who knows? We'll see. Um, we got Icarus, who I haven't played in a really long time, actually, so it's probably a good idea that we're uh, giving Icarus a go. I, I, I have to admit, Icarus is definitely my least favorite modded character that I have, um, just because I don't like the mechanic of being sent back to the starting room on hit. It just feels a little bit um, iffy, but I do really like the mechanics of the character outside of that. I think the upgrading enemies thing that this character has to deal with Starting with this, um, this active is really nice as well. I think the character has some really, really good design elements. It's just a few things that, that throw me off a little bit. But I'm sure we can make it work. But I really like, yeah, this idea of um, enemies being sort of upgraded and it having to sort of work around that. And obviously as well, like, this, this idea of, like, dark and light and then starting with flight and stuff as well. I mean, that makes things a little more uh, spicy when you get um, an enemy like that. Yeah, this active can be really goddamn good. Um, so I'm very, very happy to have that right now. And let's jump in. World card, honestly, just pop. We'll get the secret room early. Also means we can go item room for the boss. And not have to make a bunch of back... Um... Well, I can't remember exactly how, how the thing works there, you know. I'm going to have to do a little... Do a little bit of checking out. I can't remember exactly how the... Um... Exactly how the old shrine in the middle works there's some stuff you can do with it um you can like repent yeah to hit yourself and i think i think that's just the way you gain your flight back if i remember correctly it's it's not much more than that good old secret room is gonna be the old triple pill i'm going with blue pill reminds me of tears ups okay damn question mark that's fine. Oh my lord. Wasn't expecting that. And we get ourselves good old sad bombs. We get ourselves another one of these. These have been showing up in my item rooms a lot recently. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, Apple of Sodom. It's really, really nice. Also, I do quite like sad bombs. So, good stuff. And it does mean we have a bomb now to get inside of our uh, curse room. I don't think that'll blow up the beggar. Not beggar, you know what I meant. Uh, I would like to grab that, but sadly not. Ooh, that's a big old pill. Oh, that's a double horse pill speed up. That's a health down, god damn it. Pills are always a risky gamble, but I'll take that gamble pretty much every time. Unless I've already got something good going on, then I try to stay a little bit further away from it. But, hey ho, uh, I was hoping for Monstra, but honestly, um, plum will work. Basically, any boss that fires a lot of tears, really, really easy as this character. Good, good. I love the sped up death animations. Also, Soul Heart there is very nice. We're good to go. Uh, completion mark wise, I don't. Apparently, we've got literally nothing done as this character. I don't even know what unlocks this character has. Um, this is rather intriguing. We've still got our flight at the minute, so I'm gonna just hold on to that and be happy with it. Our damage is pretty good. That that plus one damage up was lovely. Oh, dude, he fired off an infested. The um the upgrade uh, fired off an upgraded enemy. So that's. Not ideal. There you go. At the minute, we're, we're in for a penny, in for a pound when it comes to pills, so I might as well go for it. And a little bit of money there. I really like having this really high speed off the bat as well. This is very, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking what we've got going on so far. Do you know what would be like the goddess of god tier items to get as this character? Holy Mantle. I mean, Holy Mantle as any character is, of course, amazing. But as this character specifically, when um, getting hit has such a big detriment to us in terms of losing our flight and getting reset back to the um, starting room, that'd be quite nice. That would be quite nice. Okay, bunch of these guys. Fire goddamn everywhere. We don't have Spectral right now. For some reason, I always think, like, I think it's just because I'm playing the Lost. I always feel like Flight should come with Spectral, but it's not always the case. Can make some weird moments. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, uh, first of all, can I just say, I think I missed the mark in terms of when this will come out, but, um... 
the good old comment streak. The comment streak that- hey, I'll take no. Um, the amazing comment streak that Manga's been holding um, is now at two years. Two years. A two year comment streak. That's some absolute dedication. Um, so, uh, thank you for that. I think it was yesterday or the day before's episode, because I've been backlogging, so I apologize that I didn't mention it on the actual episode that it happened in. Um, but yeah, just amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. Um, and I'll be buying them a Steam game, as I did last year, because it's, it's, it's worth a reward. It's worth a reward. I think it's some very nice dedication that helps the channel a lot. Comments always help the channel. Um, but yeah, did I actually ask a question of the day? I don't think I did, did I? What's, um... What's an activity, like a physical activity sport that you, that you can, that, that you really like? For me, it's swimming. I, I, I've been getting really into running and I do love running. Um, I, I've just started running again recently, but swimming for me is like the big one that I absolutely love. Uh, we'll check out our shop here. It's got quite a lot of money. I'll take snake oil. It's not all that useful, I get, I don't think, but I'll take it. I'll also, you know what, buy that. Eh, Nun's Habit as well, why not? Why not? I doubt Nun's Habit's going to be all that useful for us, but... I don't know, being able to use our active again. Um, hey, monster -er. Boom. <laughs> being using, being able to use our active again when we get hit's not bad at all. Boil Baby, also not terrible for us here. Uh, Soapbox is pretty nice. Well, of course, we're going Angel Deal as a character such as this. And uh, I want to try and do Mega Satan and all that malarkey, Bosch Rush, everything I can get under my belt I would like to do. So I'll be trying my hardest here. Double Celestial Berry is pretty good here, but I do think that getting hit here... Oh, it didn't actually lose us our uh, wings. But Double Celestial Berry is fantastic because not only do we instantly gain that HP, but... We get the stat ups twice, which is really goddamn nice, and the luck increase, the permanent luck increase. It means we can get 0.1 luck every single room if we manage to get both berries. Now, getting both berries isn't always going to be something we can do, and granted, the flight that we um, the flight that we normally get from Celestial Berry is not obviously of any use to us, but the damage fire rate that you get, it's all good. Dude, some of these enemies are uh, not ideal to be upgraded in here. I, I probably could utilize him a little more to blow up some of these mushrooms, but... I didn't really sort of internalize the fact that that enemy was there until I'd kind of killed everything else. Was that a luck penny there? No. Okay. S simply check what's in here. Ooh. Very, very nice. Ooh. Very, very nice. Not crazy, but it's very useful to have basically get, get given full HP. These guys can be a little bit... Oh. <laughs> Damn it, there you go. Okay, so now we've got to hurt ourselves to regain flight like that. But luckily, after all those soul hearts gained, pretty easy to regain that flight. Okay, right, so we do have to redo all of this. Although, weirdly enough, it's not the same enemies. I did not know that that was the case. I thought it would be the exact same enemies again. Kind of better off, to be honest, because I didn't like the uh, selection of enemies it gave us. Yeah, that, there's our first hit. It's going to happen. We've just got to be ready for it. I'm, I'm sticking with the Nurturing Kit. Nurturing Kit is fantastic, especially on a character where I have an active that I very much do want to keep. Um, thought we'd have a look for a few uh, thingies there. But yeah, well, our luck is going to climb pretty sky high here. Point 0.1 per room doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is. I, I, I was a bit preemptive with my bucket there. Good, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to risk getting hit to get the berries. But if I can get them, I, I just go for them. So plus, our stats in a really good place, actually. Plus, our stats in a really, really good place. And Hierophant as well. There, I don't need it right now, but one more hit and I'll take it. But yeah, we get plus two damage and plus one fire rate. Plus one fire rate is pretty huge, to be honest. There you go. I utilized my bucket there to be able to um, get the berries. We're already up to 1.65 luck, so it's just going to keep climbing and keep climbing. 
Yeah, I didn't manage to get that second one. It's fine. We're not always going to get it. School bag. Now, that would be interesting, but I actually think I probably want to go for um, Dreamcatcher here, because plus uh, half a soul heart every floor doesn't seem like a whole hell of a lot, but it's honestly super useful for, like, trading HP away for um, our wings if we need to. So I like the idea. I do have to be aware that my tears are deceptively large because of snake uh, oil. Um, we got ourselves... Can never fall below six is kind of interesting. Um, Soul of Azazel. Do you know what? Let's let's go and do the boss with Soul of Azazel now just to use that. And then I can pick up Steam Sale or whatever that, that trinket's called just to use... Ah, I missed both of those. Boom. No angel deal, unfortunately, so getting our key pieces is a little bit little bit iffy right now. Right, so yeah, basically, we see if we get enough money, and then we can come back and get that trinket. Damn it. Missed out on that. Now, we've seen our item room already, so we don't need to worry about that. Good, good. Got our key, a okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're getting it this floor unless maybe. Let me just grab the trinket just in case we get the money. Grab our Hierophant there as well. Hierophant, Hierophant, how do you guys say it? We'll uh, bomb this guy. Not quite what I was looking for. Right, let's try and find our secret room real quick and then we'll kind of give up after that, I think. Right, where are we looking for secret room? Boom. Probably, probably here. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. No money, unfortunately. I'm just going to pop this here. Grab our hero font card. Grab our no trinket. Let's see, Wagwan. Ah, oh, bollocks. I got a feather back at least. You can hear a font card it up. Okay, quickly go back in there. Some of those upgraded enemies can be quite gnarly. But there you go, we're good to go. Got some good stuff there. Oh, I've got a spot on my head that's really hurting. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, anyways, enough about my, my aching and failing body. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. Go on, down, down, down. And we gotta hope we get two pretty quick angel deals coming in here. Um, also, I, I'm i not entirely sure, but I might be slightly peeking my mic here. One second. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I've, I've just turned my mic down a tiny bit. One second. Okay, let's keep this going. Keep this moving. Okay. Oh, bugger. I yeah, got a flight back. The thing is as well, like, as you can see, it's not just flight, it gives you good stats as well. Ooh, what's what's that thing? Yeah, the upgrading enemies, it can, it can be a real pain sometimes, depending on uh, which enemies upgrade. Some of them are, like, super easy. Other ones can be, like, really rough. Get some relax going on. Now, we could, could sacrifice a lot of HP... In order to, um, in order to potentially get some good stuff going on with the sack room. We'll see if we get an angel deal this floor. If we don't get an angel deal this floor, then sack room is far more, uh, tempting. But, at this rate, we probably should get an angel deal here. I don't know why we're not on a 100% angel deal already. I thought we would be by now. I thought this is the floor we'd be on 100%. But I guess not. Anyways, let's not fret. Looks already at 2.3. Very nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Oh, baby. Oh, lord. Oh, lordy, lordy. We just got heal spare, which literally can more than double your damage. And the higher your speed is, the better. And our speed is high. Although, it was 1.9, so I don't really know what happened to the rest of my speed. Maybe I had different wings before. Perky girl will take 
Soul Heart will take. Just keep going here. Ooh, actually, ah, oh, my fucking idiotic self there. We do have a um do you know what? We have, we have a burn heart here, so let's uh let's start playing the sack room with the burn heart for now. I don't know what that little icon with the with the uh, thingy above my head means. Uh, let's blow up some stuff in here. There you go, we're just hoping for red hearts and stuff. Yeah, so we've already actually done a very good job with that. Which I wasn't expecting, so that's nice. I do need myself some spectral. It'd be very, very nice. Um, blow up the blood donation machine as well. We're doing to keep a bomb for, uh, what's it called? We're already on our fifth place. This, this has gone very, very well so far for sack rooms. I forget how useful burn hearts are for sack rooms. They're very, very good. Very, very good indeed. So that guy's going to have to move. Oh, thank you for killing that dude for me. That helps. And then you're kind of a nuisance, but not really. We've got to hope we don't lose our burn heart and we, we're able to fill it with half a heart. Want to keep our bomb, remember? Don't use it for secret room or that, like I was just thinking. I'm pretty sure it's here, but... Oh, um... A placenta! Huzzah, huzzah! I completely forgot we had placenta. Very, very nice. I need to re-enable the, uh... The missing charge bars mod, because, um... I have not... I, I, I disabled it because it was, like, obviously trying to reduce lag, but my PC now is probably fine, so... I should probably take it. Good, good. Two more red hearts, and I'll be pretty happy to relinquish my burn heart at that point. I'm liking my myself having this brimstone boy as well. He's doing a mighty fine job. Right, boss time. Okay, well that was just splendipitous. My <laughs> my guy just annihilated him. Okay, I am going to do the tedious thing of going all the way back and all the way back again. Which, in fact, am I? Because I, I do want to make boss rush at this point and it's already looking a little bit eh. Yeah, let's just let's just at this point sacrifice our actual hearts here. I know it's lazy, but it makes things easier. That's not what I wanted, but there you go. I mean the money's also kind of nice. I would have liked the preferred the soul hearts, but can't always get what you want. Right, so we don't have to worry about getting an angel deal now, and we didn't get one from our boss, so I'm, I'm very glad we did this. Cool, right. Now we can sort of get on with our life, and we could hopefully make a boss rush, but honestly, we'd have to really, really speed through the next floor to make it happen, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not particularly confident we can make boss rush, but... There's no harm in trying our best, is there? There's no harm in trying our best. There's an item here. We got Dead Tooth out of the blue. Nice. It's always nice when you get a freebie. Unfortunately, the freebie was Dead Tooth, so... How is there a last one left? Dude. Just die. Okay. Keep it moving. Don't really need more money. We want to be leaving this floor at 18 minutes at the absolute latest. Even 18 minutes is a push. Nice. Do not like this. This 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 is just a waste of time sort of room.
Wasn't a fan of that. Cool. We got 100% angel deal chance at this point, but like I said, at this point, that doesn't really matter. We're already at 17 minutes. I don't think it's happening, is it? We have to kill the boss very quick and do the next floor very quick on top of that. And we went the wrong way. Yeah, I think it's I think it's game over for uh, for boss rush, sadly. Unless we get something that allows us to get in there like Mala Mega. Which I will check the shop for just in case. Although I've got no, so it's unlikely. Might as well just buy out the whole shop at that point. Yeah, unfortunately we picked every witch wrong way on this floor. There's still a, a, a meager chance it could happen, but I'm going to say it's pretty unlikely. Very much do not like the uh, standing of that room. Okay, I got hit there and I've kept my wings. I'm not exactly sure why. Good old Betrayal. Betrayal's a lot better now. Still not good though. And what the hell is this room? <laughs> not actually as bad as I thought, but it's still not good. Yeah, well, there's no way. I don't know why I'm not losing my wings anymore. I don't know what happened to that mechanic, but it seems to have just kind of gone away. Yeah, this floor was, was unfortunately a maze. Ah, oh, we got guts though as well. This guy's not easy. Okay. It teleported me to the start. Of the I'm very confused at what's going on with my teleportation. I find this guy extremely difficult. <laughs> he just throws so much shit at the wall. He's another one of the Fiend Folio bosses that just has too many attacks. It seems to be a very, very common thing with Fiend Folio bosses. There's just too much going on to keep up. Oh, really? And you give me this crap? Ugh. Yeah, so at this point, we've got 30 seconds, unless we get straight to the boss, which we did not. Not happening. So, boss rush is unfortunately out of the question. Well, chill out, my guy. Mr. Mega. We're getting all the bomb-based items today. Not bad, not bad. Give me that back. Lovely. Now we can kind of take our time a little bit, relax now that we've missed the mark. Dude, we're getting like some really difficult enemy upgrades here. The, the saw dude? Wish we would have taken him out first. That would have made things easier. Good, good. Try to get the thing. We're up to 5.5 luck already. Luck's been going well. And we got little brimstone out of a random chest. That's nice. We got a 38 on our sun meter. I still don't really remember what that does. Oh, fucking hell. There was a foul gut dude there as well. Didn't see him. Ah, oh, you got double upgraded. I see. I didn't, I, I didn't know that enemies don't consistently upgrade into the same things. They can upgrade into different things. I thought it was always a one-to-one -one sort of thing. Good old mustard seed. Mustard seems to be a super, super common item for me. I come across it a lot. We do have, in like, better value cash rooms now, so we should probably try and stick those out. What a great hit there. And I said we do have better quality cash rooms now, so we should try and do those. But not, not going to do them if they're risking our HP, though. Risking our HP too much, at least. Obviously, they're going to risk our HP somewhat, because... 
That's kind of the whole point. Ow. Lost my zealot heart to that guy. We've got a lot of ways to gain friends right now with Perky Gurn Mustard Seed. All in one. Check out what we got for our tainted treasure. Bombs take longer to explode, but bombs shoot a barrage of tears at nearby enemies before they explode. That seems really good. That's not, it basically turns your bombs into turrets, if I remember correctly. Oh god, so many of these guys. Oh, one of them's mine. Sometimes enemies don't have the love hearts above their head, which is really confusing. Like, familiars is what I mean. Like, ones that you transform into your own. Okay, stay out of the way of that. More bombs. I mean, we've got so many bombs right now. That's super lovely. Betrayal seems to be doing a real good job for us as well. Enemies are killing each other. I apologize if you can hear that notification sound. I've got my email up in case I get anything important come through. Cool. Tis our boss. Oh, dude. Okay, that's that's insane. They take a long time to explode, and they fire shots fast. Um, We want to do Polaroid here. That's... Okay, those bombs are, are pretty amazing. They're going to be very good for bosses. I wonder if having Mr. Mega makes them any better. I need to use my active a little more at this stage. There's just so many shots going on. I can make use of it. What are you doing there, good sir? I think it upgraded that guy into an enemy that isn't, uh... That doesn't have any attack patterns, like an enemy that was never fully implemented. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, things have, things have uh, gotten confusing due to Mustard Seed. Seems to always be the case with Mustard Seed, to be honest. I mean... It's good for killing. Like, our killing power is definitely there. Oh, luck penny? Okay, 8.4 luck. I don't think we have any luck-based tier effects, though, so we're missing out in that regard. Let's get that bomb in there as a little turret. Oh, didn't even mean to do that, but that's nice. Nice, nice. Okay, we can still do hush at this stage. I'm just a little unclear on what's mine and what's not most of the time. But most things are dying, so rooms are being cleared. I can't complain in that regard. Up to 8.9 luck. There you go. The big niner. Just bombs kind of expected that, to be honest. Good old pin. <laughs> pin got annihilated there by that laser beam. I, I wanted that berry, but the, the, ga the game very much did not want me to have that berry because it was very hard to get there. I'm trying to get him whenever I can, but it is slightly risky. Oh, dude. Having this guy be invincible is not good. I've lost a lot of HP here that I really shouldn't have. Luckily, my friends are doing a very nice job, although most of them are dead now. And I did just walk into a chest and lose HP. Didn't work where I wanted it to. Good old ball of bandages, but an angel deal could be a saving grace here. A angel wing is piercing and... Extra good stuff. That's that's a very nice item to get. I think we're pretty set for hush here. I think we're definitely going to do hush and be reasonably happy with the result. I think we are. I think we are. We're almost at ten luck now. My mic's still peaking. I really apologise if it's been if it's been too loud this entire time. Like I said, new PC working out mic settings is not something that's super easy. It's just peaking like crazy, man. I hope my voice isn't too loud. 
I, it's, it's, it's difficult because I like I don't want to I don't want to quiet it down too much, but I also don't want to be like the loudest thing you've ever heard. Yeah. Also, this uh, sad bomb situation we've got going on with uh, fighting against Hush is going to be pretty decent. The main thing I'm worried about currently with uh, fighting fighting good old Hushy is our HP is just not good. I mean, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better. Don't know what the hell kind of heart that is. It looks crispy. Almost at the big tenor. Yeah, took a bit more damage there. Some of these enemies are pretty difficult to get out of the way of when you have such high speed entering a room. Unfortunately, we went the wrong way here. One more, one more, and we are at 10 luck. Amazing. Also, our bucket, our active item is going to be really good against Hush as well. Oh, I need to be, I need to be tap firing, don't I? So I fire my uh, angel powers. Keep forgetting about that. Death, Hierophon's very nice here. Makes me happy. Yeah, because I can be doing stuff like that. More bombs. Keep going the wrong way still. What's you? Okay. Keep going back. Should just use that death card in here, really, shouldn't we? Oh, well. Everything's murdering each other. It's very nice. Still, regardless, I want to try and pick up the uh, Celestial Berries anyways. Now that we're at 10 luck, it doesn't matter. More luck is always going to be better. And um, obviously, we still get the stats from it as well. Good, good, good. Heartworm has been unlocked. Lovely. Hop in here. Hop down here. Health is a bit better than it was uh, prior, so reasonably okay with that. Tears up is lovely. More HP for the next floor is good. Probably should have saved that until after the... Ooh, ooh, ooh big old Hemolacria. Love it. And... Yeah, that's actually pretty good. What do you got for a shop? Yeah, I'll take both of these. Why not? A chariot card, I guess I'll carry in with me. Why not? And we've got to make sure to try our best to get our berries here. Okay, we got them both. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we've got Hemolacria with piercing, which isn't ideal. But it still does good damage. The damage we're going to do with this is going to be good. I like it. Just got to stand at the ideal distance away. Oh, really? He went underground at that exact time, you little... You little cheese monkey. Should be doing that whenever I can as well. My fire rate is crazy for Hemolacria right now. Bye bye, all of those tears. Good. And again, bye bye, all those tears. It keeps going underground the moment I do that, though. It's really annoying. Okay, good. Going underground again, what a biatch. Get over here real quick. Yeah, get rid of all those shots. Those shots are hella annoying. Okay, things are going pretty well. All those shots again. I'm not moving at the minute either, so I'm losing all of my burn spares damage.
Okay, so maybe, maybe they changed Icarus. I didn't get teleported out of a boss room there. And that was my biggest gripe before. So maybe they changed that, which in which case is means this character is nowhere near as annoying as I once thought. So I might actually like this character a lot now. And maybe I've been holding a grudge for no good reason. Okay. Anyways, this should be... We should be blasting through the rest of this. I would think. I'll try our best here to see what happens. Got hit by something. I'm honestly not sure what. Got a soul heart back. Pop it. Chance to give... Ooh. Yes. I don't know if it scales with luck. But this could be pretty good. One second. Right, let's keep this going. But yeah, th this trinket could be pretty good. Oh my god, I just walked right into that goddamn uh, thing there. The, the feathers with the gravity on them look so strange. Right, this guy's not too bad. Is he going to give me an angel item? Nope, just a soul heart, which I don't mind. I don't mind. Ooh, a spin down. That could be really good for our four chests. You never know what you're gonna get. Cool. Right, boss time, where are you? It's about that time. Wow. Just I insta killed some some of these rooms I'm walking in and just insta killing everything. It's kind of amazing. Just one of those builds. They happen every now and again. They're beautiful. Gotta remember to use bombs. I actually didn't use any bombs on Hush there. That was such a waste. I completely forgot about them. I'll definitely use them on Mega Satan. I say that. I'll completely forget, won't I? I'll definitely try to remember is what I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to phrase this. I'll definitely try my best to remember. This room is gross. If people could stop doing this with these stupid blocks, I'd be very happy. Oh my god. Yeah, not not even not even gonna give that the time of day. What the fuck? Okay. So this time it did set me back. Right, anyhow. Ignoring that crap. Death is probably a good idea to use in here. It protects against death too, fuck's sake, why? This is just annoying. Right, anyways, back to get my spin down. There's an unnecessary hold up there. I also can't remember what really hit me in this room, but... I see a tinted rock there as well. Nice. Cool. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that. Okay, we've got spin down, remember, so we'll see what we end up getting here. Um. Pyro, we obviously just want to take. Unfortunately, really not any good contenders for spin down at all. In fact, I probably want to hold this and just like give myself a bunch of familiars here. Something hit me there, don't know what. Tractor beam, always good. You die as well, good fella. We've got so much luck here. We're going to be getting <coughs> quite a lot going on here. Quite a lot of chests, I might think. Two fatsers. Good, good. Just use bombs when we can. 
bed bug. Still nothing to spin down. One second, I've got a very itchy ear. I'm not going to pause because it'll only be a second. Oh my god, why? Why ear? This is beautiful. I love what this run has turned into. Just an unholy nightmare. Another chest. Box of spiders, don't think so. And Nightshade, another very, very good one to grab. We're going to be so ready for Mega Certain. So, so ready. Willow, very good. I've had so many items, I've not had a single one that spins down to something better yet. Lead pencil, very good. Okay, I can't get to that golden bomb, unfortunately. The organization. Ooh, yes. Lead pencil's gonna be quite, quite good. It hurts, actually, pretty good considering. Massive fire rate boost once we get hit, which I'm sure we will on Mega Satan at least once. That technically does spin down to something better. Not something we need, mind you, but something better. Varicose veins, whatever. How are you not dead, big sir? What is going on with this? That was a weird one. Strange room. Hehehe, <laughs> yeah, boy. More chests. Good old bag of bobbies. The familiars have uh, gone galore. We've got uh, conjoined with uh, tractor beam. That's a very nice setup. Spin down and nothing to use it on. It's hard to even follow what's going on now. I don't know how he's surviving as long as he is. It's that goddamn boss armor he gains. <laughs> it's just lunacy, this. Right, dead. Baptism, nice. Right, back we go. It's good old Keybum. I could spin it down into something, but it's just not worth. At this point, we might as well do the rest of the rooms because they're really easy and we're getting chests on the regular. What's down here? Little monster, why not? Whoa, that's really cool. All the feathers falling down on us. Right, only a few more rooms to go. I will take back my, um, this, my communion. Makes sense. Don't really want red chests, thank you. Not very useful. I don't really want glass chests either, that's not very useful. Anyways, we'll do that one last room over here because it'll give us one more charge on our, uh, on our active. And I don't know how many familiars I have or what they are, but we have some. I'm sure they'll be somewhat useful. And we'll take this back. I guess we'll spin this down just in case this somehow becomes active. Ah, I'm not going to get that second one, sadly. I shouldn't have stepped in the middle. It's okay, though. It's okay. Remember to use bombs. Bombs are very, 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 very valuable for us. 
We've got so many of them. Ow. Wasn't expecting that. All of them just <laughs> instantly dead. You're dead as well, good fellas. Bye bye. Yeah, this was piece of piss for us. Absolute piece of piss. The bombs have been super helpful for bosses. We'll see if we get delirium. Kind of hoping we do. But we don't know. We do not know if we will. I do know that we will blast through this. we got so many little minions with charge bars. We have two little monstros. I think we have a real one and a summoned one. How are you not dead yet, my guy? I've used so many bombs. we got Goat Eye unlocked. I don't... Oh, that was for killing him. I was, I was a bit confused there. Anyways, sadly, we did not get to do um, Delirium. But that was a fun run. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.